Hello everybody, Matteo here again and welcome you to my little RC garage. I have here a brand new box of the Chimney J3 from MST. It's the ready to run version, comes assembled and it's built on the CMX crawler chassis. Here you can see an upgraded servo is installed, it's a high torque servo made by Savax. I think this is very nice for a ready to run vehicle. Here you can see the electronics, it's the XP60 waterproof brushed ESC and the 26 turn brushed motor is installed. But now, let's open the box and have a look what's inside. Here are us first a few extra parts. And this is the radio. And here it comes. It's well packed and covered in plastic. And here are some manuals and extra sticker sheets. The chassis is attached on the packing with cable ties. Now let's have a closer look on the chassis. It's very well built and everything looks perfect. Motor and ESC. The truck comes with Dean's connectors. Very nice are the steel CVDs on the front axle. The dampers are filled with oil and works very smooth and soft. From underneath you can see the rigid axles and four link suspension in front and at the rear. The servo is installed on the front axle. Not the best scale looking position, but best working steering setup. If you like to see more of this chassis, you can watch my detailed review about the kit version of this chassis. You can find the link in the video description. Now let's check the body. It's perfect painted and the main decals are already applied. It's available in four different colors, silver, orange, yellow and blue. The inside comes in silver to make it good opaque. The windows are a bit tinted with perfect applied stickers. Look at this cute little off-roader. The radio is 2.4 GHz, steering wheel with trigger. Here are some servo reverse and trim buttons and it even have a third channel. Here is the battery case for 4 AA batteries. Here are some additional parts for the body. Light buckets for the front lights. Roof racks. This is the snorkel and side mirrors, and light buckets for the rear lights, and windshield wipers. Included is also a good manual with instructions and an exploded view. These are instructions for the ESC its parameters and how to calibrate it with the radio. And this sheet shows how to finish the body. The main part is already done, but there are some details to add, like the snorkel and roof rack. For this it's necessary to drill a few holes in the body, but this is not a big deal. The positions are good marked on the body. 
and here you can see the finished body with all the details. The snorkel and side mirrors. The windshield wipers in hard plastic. The front lights. The roof rails. From the inside you can see an LED lights installation is very easy. It's the same at the rear. To make these fine body lines I used a 0.7mm thick permanent paint marker. But now let's insert the batteries and turn on this machine. The green light indicates everything is ok. Now I install a 2S LiPo on the chassis, connect it to the ESC and turn on the switch. Steering works and motor also. But as you can see the ESC have no drag brake at the moment. But I like to have this function to master steep trails. The manual explains how to activate these functions. The three different driving modes are selectable over a jumper. To activate the drag brake I have to remove the jumper. And now here you can see it has a drag brake. So, now I'm ready to go on the trails and look how it performs. But this is it for the moment. A running video will follow soon. So stay tuned to see how this little off-roader runs. If you like it, this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.